Hi everyone, I'm Terry and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I kind of wanted to update you a little bit. First of all, I wanted to tell you that I um, were traveling to LA. So being that I'm traveling, I still wanted to keep in touch with you guys. So I thought I would do some more of those short videos. I've done a few of them and they're kind of fun to do, but um, what's your take on it? Do you like them? Do you Let me know in the comments below how you feel about those short videos. I'm still gonna do my long ones, because there's no way I can do the DIYs in 15 seconds. So don't worry, I'm still gonna do the long ones. But um, just wanted to stay in touch with you guys, so I was thinking I would kind of show you when we go to, you know, what was that? I'm thinking of shopping in Rodeo, or maybe going to some restaurants around there, and checking out the Hollywood sign. So, you know, the touristy stuff. So I just wanted to update you on that kind of what's happening next week. We've been kind of crazy busy, so I haven't had a chance to do as many videos regularly like I normally do, but I'll be back when I'm back from LA. I promise I'll get back on track and I'll start doing um, on my weekly videos. Also today, I wanted to show you some, um, some things that I got for this year's fall haul. I didn't get a lot. I usually, I like a lot of the stuff that I have, but sometimes I'd like to kind of update it and just get a few pieces that I see. Every year I always see something that I like, but, but for the most part, I just wanted to kind of spruce it up and put some new things in with my old things. Um, I do know that I'm kind of pulling away from the cutesy stuff, mostly because my kids aren't little anymore. And when they were little, I loved having all the little cutesy stuff, but now that they're not here, maybe when grandkids, I'll go back to the cutesy stuff. But for now, I'm doing more of the glam and maybe some more elegant looking designs and that's kind of where I'm going. But let me show you some stuff that I got um, for this year's fall haul. I do have a couple more things coming which is also when I get back from LA, I have a really cute pumpkin DIYs I'm gonna show you. They're very dramatic, but I'm super excited to show you. So um, stay tuned for that. That'll be in a couple weeks, because I won't be back for a couple weeks. Anyway, I've got a lot of these things from different places. Um, and let me just show you these first, because these came from, these came actually from another seller on Macari. I don't know if you guys ever shopped at, on Macari, um, but they're, I feel really safe shopping there because they don't get paid until the buyer um, says they're happy with their purchase, which is really kind of cool. I like that. But I got these two little acorns. I thought these were so cute. And they're um, they're metallic, but they also have gold. I haven't decided if I'm going to bling them. I might bling them. But otherwise, I think they're really cute. And you can set them up as a little decor, um, either the two of them, or I might just put one with a pumpkin. But um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with them, but I just thought they were different. So next I'm going to show you some stuff that I got from TJ Maxx. This is the cutest little pumpkin. It's supposed to be like a cashmere pumpkin, but um, super cute and it's a pretty decent size. I'm actually going to display it like a pillow. Whoops. I'm actually, sorry, <laughs> throw this. I'm actually gonna throw it, um, display it kind of like a pillow, and I think it'll be really cute on a on a little chair, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do with this one. I originally was gonna put it on a table display, but it's really wide and it's big, so, um, but for, I wanna say it was um, under $20, so super cute, thought that was cute, and super furry, and I love little furry things, but anyway. Okay, next, these two things I, absolutely love. So I got, these are also on TJ Maxx. Now I got all my stuff online. I didn't actually go to the store. So I got, I got the larger ones and these are a set of four and they're little pumpkins with pearls in them. Super cute. I'll take them out and show them to you. So I think these are going to be really, really cute. All right. So let me just show you what they look like. It's a nice size. They're so they're a nice little size. And these all have little pearls on them. And then it's like a hollow in the middle, but super cute, right? So there's four of these. And then I also got these. Now these came in a set of six. And I wanna say they were, I wanna say they were under 25. They're a little pricier, but you know what? I think these are kind of classics, so though. You'll, you'll be able to use these all the time. I just don't think there would ever be a time when you wouldn't be 
you'll be able to use them. So these are kind of cute because they also have little crystals in them. But these are a little bit smaller. But look how cute those are. And then they too are hollow on the bottom. So here you can see the difference in the size. Isn't that cute? I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put them, but as I start to decorate the house, I'll figure out how I want to display them. But I'd see them kind of at a coffee table, maybe in a little bowl, like a glass bowl or something like that. Um, this one's a little bigger, so I kind of see it displayed with another pumpkin, but I do have a lot of silver pumpkins, so this will be really perfect for that. I forgot to show you guys this other pumpkin that I got from TJ Maxx. Love the blues on it. I do have a lot of blues in my house. Very pretty. The next things that I got is from Amazon. Of course, I can't do any purchases unless I do an Amazon purchase. But um, these next couple of things I got from Amazon. So I wanted to put something, um, I wanted to get something that I can put my pumpkin on. And I thought about a candle holder, but I just felt like candle holders, they're just never big enough to hold the real big, bigger pumpkins. They're, you know, they're, they're small. They're, I think they hold like maybe a six inch, um, maybe they would hold like a six inch pillar, but some of your pumpkins are you know, like this big, what, like eight, 10 inches. So I wanted something that could, hold one of those. So how perfect is that? And now I can, now granted this one's a little bit bigger than that, but see how you can just kind of set that on there? And I thought that would be really cute. Now I haven't figured out where this is going yet either, but I just knew I just wanted one little stand. So then I could put a pumpkin on top and then put some other little decorative things on the bottom and then it'll just be a nice little display. But I thought this was cute. I like the wood, it's a real wood. I like it. This costs about $28. So, super cute. I think this is really, I think this will work perfectly in like a decor. You could do it on your, like on your dining room table, like a centerpiece or on an entry table. I like the idea of being able to display I got are this now this isn't really a fall potpourri but but I got two of the exact same one I wanted I love the idea of when you first walk into the home and it has it already has a beautiful scent and, and mine just those plugins don't work they don't last long but these you actually it actually comes with um, the drop so it, you can refresh it so that it keeps smelling like it does. This one has tangelo peels and jasmine, so that's what this smells like. I'm a huge jasmine fan too. So I got a couple, so I'm gonna, I'm planning on kind of scattering them in little bowls all around the house so we can smell this and hopefully it'll it'll last and smell like that the whole time. But these are, um, they're, these are, what I like too about this is not specifically seasonal. If you can see right here, this is where it has an extra little bottle there. You can um, refresh it, and um, I'll let you know how this goes. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but right now it smells really good, and I do like it. So, all right. One more thing, and came in this huge bag, but this is from Joanne Fabrics, and I refaced my fireplace, and I'm, I'm gonna show you that. That's another video that's coming, but and I thought this year I wanted to put something different for um, in front of the, on the mantle. So I thought these are really pretty. They're kind of like a bronzy brown, but they also have some glitter in it. I 
promise you I will do a video so we'll um, so you'll see how I actually display them and use them in the decor. If you've seen my prior videos, I always complain how much I hate my um, the face of my fireplace. It has like a slate stone and I can't stand it. So I'm so excited to now have, it's like a, it's a marble look, but it's still a tile, but it looks so much nicer. So um, I will show you that process. So the next thing I wanna show you is my cute little bar cart that I bought from the seller on OfferUp. Um, it was so perfect because it's this, I needed a small size and it's gold, which I wanted it to be gold, um, but I just needed it specifically just to hold my tea. I used to have like a coffee machine over here, but the only problem is I, I only drink one cup of coffee. So I had this coffee machine and I never made coffee in it. So, but I do in the wintertime like to drink tea. So I decided I'll just do like a little bar cart with a tea arrangement and that's kind of what I what I did and so I'll show you how I did that. I'll show I got this cute little bar cart. I got it on um on offer up from another seller. I really love shopping on offer up. It's just super easy. There's there's a lot of stuff out there that people are getting rid of and I swear every time I want something somebody's always selling the stuff that I need. So it's perfect. All right guys, so this is my bar cart that I was telling you about. It fits here so perfectly. And up top I have this Lazy Susans from Ikea. And then I have just a couple coasters. These are so awesome. I love these in my tea. They're honey and they're like molded as spoons. I also like Honestly, I don't put this in anything. I just eat them raw, but these are they are like raw candy. I have some of those in there too. And then I have my little tea kettle. And then this, these are my doggies treats. And then on this side, I have my black and my green tea. And it's perfect. This Lazy Susan is great. And then down on the bottom shelf, I have these three little jars. One just has flowers in it. One has just pink strawberry starburst. And then I have some of the Tea Forte tea bags. Here I have, this is my favorite, Jordan almonds. And then I also have, of course, the Vespa candle. And I have my filtered water. Let's see how perfect this fits right here. Now in here, in this corner, I'm putting a white vase here with a with pompous grass that'll hopefully get up to about this height. And then um, up here, I'm gonna fill this little gap. I have this wall art, and I know it, it doesn't really go with everything that's in this corner, but it's a song that my mother-in-law used to sing all the time. And I saw this and I just, just fell in love with it. So that's gonna go up there. So I haven't really finished this area, but for the most part, once those two pieces are in, I think they'll just get all tied in together. I think it'll look really nice. And I just love this little corner. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. And until next time, bye bye.